Hi there, welcome to Stardust Gold Crochet. This is Tasha. Today we're going to work through the honeycomb stitch. This stitch is great for anything you want to make that you need something stretchy like a market bag or a mesh t-shirt. Um, so today we're going to use Knit Picks and I'm using Wool of the Andes Tweed in the colorway of Marine Heather. And I'm using a Knit Picks hook in the size uh, 6.5 millimeter. It's a K hook. I like these hooks because they have a really deep groove, so they're really great. So what we're going to do to start is first we're going to create a slip knot. This is how I do mine. I usually just yarn it over, put it through, then I put the other end there and just slip the hook around like that. And we're going to chain 16 to start. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and sixteen. And this pattern works in multiples of four plus two. Then you chain three for the foundation chain. So we have our 16. I'm going to go ahead and chain two more. And then we're going to chain three more because we're working our foundation chain. All right, so we're going to count now. We're going to do our row one. We're going to count six chains in. So there's one, two, three, four, five, and six. And we're going to work a double crochet into that sixth chain. So you yarn over, insert your hook into the chain, yarn over and pull up a loop so you have three loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through two until you have one loop. Then this is our repeat for the pattern which you chain two, then you're going to skip two chains and work into the third chain, a double crochet. So yarn over, Insert your hook into the chain, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through two, then yarn over and pull through two. Here and then we've created our two, two little holes for our honeycomb mesh. So then repeat this pattern along until the end. So you've got two chains, skipping two and working into the third. Chain two, skip two, and work into the third. And you can pause it and we'll come back at the end of the row. We're at the end of the row. We have three chains left. You should have three chains left. If you don't, just rip it back and start over and don't be mad at yourself. Um, so count one, two, skip two and double crochet into the very last chain. And now for row two, you can see there's our row one. We've got part of our honeycomb. For row two, we chain four. And then we turn. And we're going to work directly into the chain space. So we're going to do double crochet you yarn over, insert your hook into the chain space, yarn over, pull up a loop, pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. And then the pattern repeats the same as it did for row one, so we chain two, and then we work a double crochet into each chain space. And it goes really fast, especially after you do your first row. You can make this with as tight as tension as you want or as, as loose as you want too. I tend to make it a little tighter using this stitch because it's, it ends up stretching a lot and it has a great stretch to it. So it's great for market bags. So there we've completed row two. And to finish off your pattern, you just complete 
row two and keep repeating row two until you reach your desired height. And so for row three, you would chain four, turn, and keep working into each chain space. Then chain two, work into each chain space. And once you get the hang of it, start going really fast. You can bust out your project in no time at all. If you like market bags, this is the greatest stitch to use for market bags. All right, so I did a real quick row three so you can see how fast it goes. So if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. I'm happy to answer them. And thank you so much for watching today. I appreciate it. Take care. Happy crocheting. The link for the Honeycomb Mesh Tea is in the description below, as well as a link to buy this great yarn.